Hoy pienso en qué pasó y cómo me afectó en las horas que pasé en aquel bus. No entiendo bien por qué mi abuelo distraído se bajó sin mí yo seguí, 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 seguí Acapulco no era un lugar para una niña de mi edad con solo cuatro años enfrente la soledad del bus te vi pasar y la calle caminar y a pesar del miedo que me dio no pude ni llorar, llorar, llorar Era la niña perdida el chico me As you can see in the intro, guys, these crybabies lied so much about us on that server. But to be honest, we just helped people on that server. They never expected us to come because we were tired of them. We jumped them over and over last year and nothing's new. They lose, they cry, and now even though they zerg with those people we defeated, they still lose. And the reason they only had one player guarding is that our problem? Zerging a server but getting raided with one guy defending equals our fault. Oh my God. But today's video, I will show you all their lies. Was there only one guy defending? Nurse said he was the only one online, but you will see in the kill feed they are online. They have lots of people. But is it our problem you got raided because you only had a few people defending? And are you really sure about saying we never play like men? We always told them, let's Legion versus Legion. No mecha and no pets. But they never accepted. All we did is jump them until we got bored. That's the answer why we stopped fighting this legion. All they do is lie and cry. D-Scared was online from the start until the end of the raid. Look at Nurse lying. He said he is the only one online. Again, it's not our fault they had few people defending their base. It's a bloody server. You should expect a raid any time. Or if you cry because you get raided, you should play on a rookie server where you guys belong. There, there is a raiding time you can guard until the raiding time ends. That's my tip if you're not prepared for raids. But never call us, we never play like a man because dis scared, you never play like you want us to play on this server. Because every time we jump you before, you always camp us with a shotgun. Is that the definition of a man for you? Camping and trying to offline raid?
base design was very familiar, but anyways, all I knew was they always liked to copy our design. Even Discared copied me from the thumbnail to the game layout and game resolution. He has no originality. Now I remember why the base design was very familiar because it's the same base design I made on my solo journey server where five men tried to raid me and took a lot of time raiding my stone base.
We got a lot of bombs from Descared's Legion. We used them to find their TC. I deposited the others in the raid base, and Raichu got the TC.
Just scared kids can accept the fact they got raided and still talk shit on chat. I told them the truth and it's too toxic for them to handle the truth. They already said good game, but still trying to explain themselves. Still can't accept they lost again and again and again for 100 times. When I said let's go Legion versus Legion without pets and Maka, the answer always the same. It's been a year now, their answer never changes. Maybe when we have kids, if this game's still alive, maybe our kids versus their kids will fight. Who knows? They want us to tell them we're going to raid them, but did they do that to their enemy? I don't even think they have the balls to say they're going to raid their enemy and to prepare. I've never seen them doing that. All I see is they always bully newbies on standard, zerging any server just for content, and they call themselves men. If that's the definition of a man, I would rather stay who I am than be a man by their definition. The next legion we're going to raid keeps saying, come on potato, we'll give you content. Even though they're not going to say that, we already plan to raid them right after we raid the DS scared legion. So none of these people in this picture are good at PvP? 
That's why they only accept Mecha fights, because that's where they're good at. The only reason they farmed again was because Raichu told the shark that we had already left the server if we did not say that. And it's our server, we won't let them farm like the last server until they beg let us build a base. Anyways, let's move on about liars, let's start the second raid. We already knew their base was bunker type. Our plan is to destroy their towers first, where they put their sleeping bags and beds so they can respawn anymore and repair the base if we blow the bunker. 